Hi there, this is Tracy from Est 414 Ministries. Thanks for joining me today as I read from Henry and Richard Blackaby's devotional, Experiencing God Day by Day. February 18th, Take Up Your Cross. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 16, 24. Your cross is God's will for you, regardless of the cost. Taking up your cross is a choice. It is not beyond your control. You may have health problems or a rebellious child or financial pressures, but do not mistake these as your cross to bear. Neither circumstances you face nor consequences of your own actions are your cross. Your cross will be to voluntarily participate in Christ's sufferings as he carries out his redemptive purposes, Philippians 3.10. Paul said he rejoiced in his sufferings because he knew that by them he was able to participate in the suffering required to bring others into Christian maturity, Colossians 1.24. We tend to want to go immediately from denying ourselves to following Jesus, But you can never follow Jesus unless you have first taken up your cross. There are aspects of God's redemptive work that can be accomplished only through suffering. Just as Christ had to suffer in order to bring salvation, there will be hardships you may have to endure in order for God to bring salvation to those around you. Jesus did not talk with his disciples about the cross until they had come to know he was the Christ. Matthew 16, 21. He will never be able to endure the suffering of the cross unless you have first been convinced that Jesus is the Christ. Once you have settled your relationship with Christ, he will introduce you to your cross. There is no Christianity without a cross. If you are waiting for a relationship with God that never requires suffering or inconvenience, then you cannot use Christ as your model. God's will for you involves a cross. First, take up your cross, then you can follow him. Thanks for listening and have a great day.